Hi, my name's Elizabeth and I work for Resource One Credit Union. And today we have a special guest. Hi, my name is Zoe and I'm in the risk management department at Resource One Credit Union. And it's getting about that time where it's the holiday season. So guess what that means? It's also fraud season. So that's why we have Zoe with us. So we can talk a little bit about fraud during the holidays and help you avoid fraud. So today we are gonna give you the scoop on fraud during the holidays. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is delivery scams. If you're anything like me during the holidays, I am ordering everybody's gifts online. So that means gifts are going here and there and it's hard to kind of keep up. Well, the fraud people are taking advantage of this and they know how to get you. And Zoe's gonna give us a little insights on how they can get you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is super common with fraudsters and bad actors as we call them. They'll send you an email or maybe a text message that tells you that um, your delivery is delayed or you know there's maybe an issue with it or it's held up and there's a link for you to click and they're gonna want you to check on the tracking or possibly even enter some personal information. So there might be a link in that email or text that would take you to a website where they're possibly going to ask you for some of your personal information. This gets uh, a lot of people during the holidays, especially because they're ordering a lot of packages at that time. Most people are ordering things and uh, getting them either delivered to someone or having them delivered to their house. So this might kind of cause a moment of panic, which is where normally a fraudster gets you, is they stress, they stress you out and then you have to try and fix the situation. So this is an area where I would highly recommend that instead of clicking anything in an email or in a text message, go directly to the website where you ordered something from and just double check on the order and make sure that everything's okay. Um, even if something is wrong with it, it's best to go directly to the website because then you can be certain that you are accessing it correctly and you aren't possibly giving your information to a fraudster. So I know what gets me is the text messages around the holidays where it's like, oh, somebody's asking me about a package and I just go and you automatically want to click on it because okay. you have tons of stuff going everywhere and you think that's legitimately one of your many packages. But you have to remember there are times when you need to just stop, go directly to where you're ordering something and take the extra step to prevent fraud. And the other thing to kind of think about is like just kind of common sense is why would they be asking me for like some personal information or they already have my credit card. Why are they asking me for my credit card again? So when it starts asking you those kinds of questions, red alert, stop what you're doing, take a second and go to the actual website and see what's going on. Yes, absolutely. That's a great point to you know, you've already provided them all of this information. So why would they be asking for it? So a lot of times it's just about taking a beat and really thinking about where this might be coming from and don't fall victim to that panic because they want to induce it. And that's what makes you trip up and give them your information. So really just taking that extra moment to think, okay, why would this be happening? So yeah, and reaching directly out to that company that you ordered from. So another thing that can happen during the holidays is gift card fraud, which, oh, how disappointing would that be to get a gift card and it has nothing on it or it be a totally fraudulent gift card. Um, some of the things that you might find is somebody saying, hey, I have a hundred dollar gift card. And if you give me 40 bucks for it, then you'll get the hundred dollars. But lo and behold, the gift card's completely empty or isn't even a legitimate gift card. Uh, that would be really disappointing, especially around the holidays. 
So there's that situation happening. And Zoe can tell us how to kind of prevent that. Yes, this is definitely something we see. Probably the number one thing I would tell you is if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So just like the last thing, kind of take a moment to really think about it. What are the chances that a, a complete stranger is going to sell me a gift card that's $100 for less than 50%? That that just doesn't even make sense. So if you just, just kind of take a moment and, and really think about it, it's entirely possible that a friend you know, or an, a mutual acquaintance might provide a, an offer like that. That's entirely possible because it's a little different when you know someone personally. There are reputable stores online and that you can go buy gift cards from. I would highly recommend doing a little bit of research just to make sure that that website is reputable. Um, a Google search with that website's name and reviews can be very helpful. And it will tell you a lot about the kind of transactions, the kind of protections that that website might have. If you are buying discounted gift cards, definitely make sure that that place is going to protect you as a buyer. You want to make sure that if you receive an item that doesn't work, is not a valid code, or doesn't have a balance on it, you are able to dispute that transaction through the website. So just really take a moment to make sure, do your research. It is something that is possible. You can buy discounted gift cards. Just be careful. So another thing to watch out for during the holidays is charity scams, which is really disappointing. We're all wanting to give back during the holidays, help others. It's kind of the spirit of the season, but scammers are also out to kind of tug on your heartstrings during that time because they know that you're wanting to give during that time of the year. So they'll make fake websites, make fake charities, and they're going to try to get the money from you. Um, so be super careful. There's a few websites that you can go and visit that we're going to display on the screen that will give you an idea of where you can go to kind of double check before you start giving money away to charities. And if ever in doubt, go to some of the charities that you know and have the name that's out there. That's always one of the best things to do. Um, go with something you know go with something that has a legitimate a backing behind it. So just be careful out there. Definitely help out where you can, but be careful as well. So one of the last things we're gonna talk about is a fraud thing that came out a couple of years ago and started picking up traction on social media. It's a gift exchange. You know, everybody has around the holidays these gift exchange. You might be at work or with some friends or family, and they're always super fun. Well, social media got a hold of that and started doing massive gift exchange where it sounds really cool and everything until you get scammed. So people were sending in and doing the gift exchange, but never getting anything in return. So it's kind of a it would be awesome if it actually follows through, but most of the time people were just getting scammed with it. So be super careful around the holidays and I mean really any other time on social media when there's all of these fun things or getting together or sending and exchanging stuff. Just be really careful and make sure you do, you're doing it legitimately and with people that you know. So would you say there's any tips that you have for some of these fraud situations? Absolutely. Um, I would say, you know, a healthy bit of skepticism is always good. Uh, don't overshare your information. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Uh, make purchases from reputable sources. Really research those and make sure that they are exactly what you think they are. Um, stay organized. One thing I could speak back to on the online purchases is I realize this can be a bit of an undertaking, especially during the holiday season. 
keep track of those purchases. Just maybe have a piece of paper or a, you know, a Word doc on the laptop or whatever that you enter the purchases in. Just you can keep it simple. What store you bought it from, what item it was, what day you ordered it. Then you kind of know when things are supposed to arrive. And if you don't get something, you keep better track. I know sometimes I can order a lot of stuff and maybe forget something. So it would definitely help to stay organized. And then finally, just do your research. A quick Google search, maybe ask around a little bit for some references if people have a reputable source that they use for certain things. So those are my tips. Well, thank you for the helpful tips. We hope that you utilize them during the holidays and stay safe and don't fall into any scam traps. And that was our scoop for holiday fraud.